Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the types of radiation. Okay, so so far we've looked at this idea that um, there are very heavy elements like uranium, um, that the nucleus of that element is large in size and in mass, and that what often happens is that at some point spontaneously it will break apart to form two smaller nuclei through the process of nuclear fission of this splitting process. And we have formed new elements. Um, so therefore we, we call this process transmutation. Okay, the production of new elements. Okay, and so what we, we then kind of propose this idea that then out of this comes radiation, that we're giving off radiation in this process, that then that starts to affect other things, like Henri Becquerel noticed back in the late 1890s um, and seeing the, the effect it has on photographic paper. Okay, and so what we're going to identify in this video is that there are three main types of radiation that we consider. Okay, and I'm going to illustrate what they are by showing you um, this over here. So this, is, this would be a radioactive kind of radioactive source. So a, a substance which we know produces radiation. And then over here, oh, actually I might even a bit. Okay, um, so up here we've got, um, so two kind of electrically charged um, plates, kind of, or electrodes. Okay, so what's gonna happen is that out of this, we're gonna get three types of radiation. Okay, the first one that we get, which then travels and bends this way, we call alpha radiation. Okay, and alpha is has a positive charge, so which is why it bends towards, is attracted to the negatively charged um, plate. Okay, so if we connected these up to a battery or to a power pack and made this negative charge and positive charge, that a beam of alpha particles would go that way. Okay, we're going to go through and list out a table of, of their features in a minute. Okay, now we'd also get a different beam that would travel over this way. Now, where this one bends up towards the negative plate, this one bends towards the positive plate, which suggests that it is negatively charged, and we call this one beta. So it's kind of the Greek letter B, so it's, it's kind of like a capital B with a little tail on it, and so we say it's got a negative charge. Okay, because, and which so we can see it bends towards, it is attracted towards the positive plate. And then what we get is we then get this beam of radiation that goes completely through the middle, totally uninterrupted, um, doesn't bend towards either side. And we call this one gamma radiation. So it's, this is electromagnetic radiation. So the Greek letter gamma, okay, um, which is the kind of, yeah, it's just like the, the third letter of the alphabet. So it kind of looks like a fish on its side. Okay, so alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. All right, we're now going to spend a little bit of time. Um, uh, we're going to list, construct a table to kind of illustrate um, how what these are like. All right, so take the time to, to pause the video and make sure that you've got this table drawn up. Um, so we've got listing out our alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, so they're words and then the symbols that we use. Apologies that my pen isn't really all that fine to be able to see some of the detail there. Let's see if I can fix that up a little bit for you. Arguably, that's worse, but let's see how you go. Okay, so alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, so we've already identified that alpha is positively charged, and it has actually two, positively char two positive charges. Okay, whereas beta has one negative charge, and gamma, this is not applicable. It has no charge. Okay, um, so the alpha, uh, alpha and beta are both particles. Okay, so these, uh, this is a particle. This is also a particle, and this is um, radiation. Okay, so electromagnetic radiation. So I might even put capital EM at the start there just to help clarify. So 
This is similar to a helium nucleus. Okay, so two protons and two neutrons stuck together. Okay, so like this, so two protons and two neutrons stuck together. So it's not like a helium atom where, you know, you've got the, the electrons orbiting as well. This is just like the, the nucleus of that. Okay, beta is similar to an electron. Okay. All right, so, and then this is just similar. This is high energy radiation. Okay, so it's not, so it's kind of like, like x-rays and things like that, but much more energetic, much more damaging. Okay, so alpha radiation um, has very low penetrating power. Um, and so we would say stopped by a sheet of paper or your skin. Okay, so it can't, you know, if you have, you can hold an alpha um, source in your hand and it won't hurt you in that respect. Okay, you can't penetrate, that radiation can't penetrate your skin. So it's got a low penetrating power, but we would say it's very high ionizing, very high, high ionizing power. So it's very damaging if in, in internally. Okay, so if you ingest it, so if you eat it or you drink it um, or you breathe it in, um, it is incredibly dangerous and it will almost certainly kill you um, if that happens. Okay, because once that those alpha particles, that radiation, that, that, that thing that is producing alpha radiation is inside your system, that radiation will do incredible damage to your cells. Okay, and which is what we mean by ionizing power. So basically, it just starts attacking the, you know, that, that energy is attacking the tissues and killing off all of those cells left, right, and center. Okay, um, but it has to make its way inside your body for it to be dangerous to you. Okay, um, <clears throat> so, and then we get to um, beta, which has got a medium um, penetrating power. Um, so stopped by a sheet of aluminium foil. Okay, so you don't need very thick protection from um, beta radiation. And it's got a medium ionizing power. So it's not quite as ionizing as our alpha radiation, um, but it would still be very damaging internally if you um, in, in, in used indiscriminately. But we can use uh, substances that give off beta radiation to treat um, damaged tissue or we could to treat like cancer tissue um, but we have to be careful about where we put them so that it doesn't just damage um, willy-nilly okay and then we get to gamma so if you you're seeing the kind of the trend that we've got here then you might see that we've got a very high penetrating power okay power um, so we need several uh, meters of concrete or sheets of lead metal to stop it. Um, it will continue straight. It will go straight through your body. It will, um, which can be quite useful. We will see when we look at um, the uses for um, radiation. Um, but yes, but so in order to actually be protected from something that gives off gamma radiation, that you need to. Um, yeah, that, that um, in particularly sheets of lead. Okay, so people who are exposed to gamma producing materials or, or, or on a regular basis, like so people who do radiotherapy um, or people who are radiographers for, for um, who will do imaging using these sorts of techniques of you inside your body, that they would wear lead aprons or lead kind of materials to, to be able to stop that sort of damaging radiation. Okay, but it has a low ionizing ability, um, ionizing power. Okay, so um, so in that sense, it's it's less dangerous in that respect than alpha if it gets in, inside your body. And so we often will give um, gamma um, radiation sources 
um, or so, something that produces gamma radiation for imaging inside your body, like especially if you've got cancer and you're looking for trying to find for tumors or just just medical imaging generally, that you can pick up the signals if you if you swallow something that's producing gamma radiation, you can pick up the signals um, outside the body um, and that can give you some images that way. Okay, um, because it it will penetrate your tissue, so it can come out of your body very easily. Okay, so it can be quite useful there. All right, so we've identified that there are three different types of radiation that um, that come off things that are radioactive, um, and so we've got alpha radiation, which is positively charged, and it's a helium nucleus. It's low penetrating power, but very damaging if it gets inside you. We have beta radiation, which is negatively charged, and it's an electron. It has medium penetrating and ionizing power. And then we have gamma radiation, which is um, high energy electromagnetic kind of waves, as opposed to particles. Um, so it has no charge, um, and it's undeflected by electric fields. Um, it has a very, very high penetrating power, so it can be incredibly damaging there, but low ionizing power if it gets inside you. So we can make it very useful for treating cancer and for doing medical imaging. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.